Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 5, Hadu Kaben, focusing on the new subtopic which is 5.2 Alkins part 1 of the video. So in this video, we're going to look into the uh, alkin as the unsaturated hydrocarbon, as well as we're going to do some drawing of the structures, as well as the naming of the compound according to the IUPAC nomenclature. We're going to do that for the straight chain and branch alkene, cyclic alkene, and also simple diene. Diene here refers to it has two carbon-carbon double bond in the same structure. Okay, and that is why the name is diene. Dui, ataupun maksudnya dua. Alright, so without any further ado, let us start. So, Alkin will have a general formula of CNH2N uh, and it has a functional group of C double bond, C double bond. It is unsaturated hydrocarbon and it consists of one sigma bond as well as one pi bond. And due to the restricted rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond, it can produce cis and trans isomerism as what you have learned in chapter 4. Meanwhile, for cyclalkene, we'll have a general formula of CNH2N-2. So it kinda different from alkene where it has a negative 2 here. So uh, this is example of the cycloalkene which is cyclobutene. Now we're gonna look into the common name of alkene. So when, when it has two carbon, it will be named as ethene. This is the IUPAC nomenclature. Meanwhile, the common name is gonna be ethylene. If it has three uh, carbon, the name is gonna be propene. So the same as alkene, propane, but now because of it become an alkene, because of the one double bond, the A and E will be changed into E and E. And the common name is going to be propylene. Okay, so this one is IUPAC, the blue color is the IUPAC name, this one is the common name. Alright, now we have one, two, three which is the propene and the metal group here which is the substituent attached at carbon number 2. So it's going to be 2 methyl propene. So the common name is isobutylene. Now we have another structure here which consists of two double bond. Two carbon carbon double bond and this is known as diene. All right. So 1 2 3 4 it has four carbon and the carbon will be uh, the metal group gonna be attached at carbon number two. So it's gonna be but one three diene because of one, two, and then the carbon here is attached with the double bond. So carbon carbon double bond will have at number one and at number three. So that is why its name is but but one three diene. Okay, and then the metal is attached at carbon number two. So it's going to be 2 methyl, but 1 and 3 diene. So from in, you add up di at the front because di refer to 2 carbon carbon double bond. Alright, so common name is not so important. It just wanted to let you know the it is a usual terms used by common people and also scientists in order to indicate the structure. But for chemistry, I think we'll be using IUPAC nomenclature, which is the one in, uh, the one in blue. All right. So for IUPAC nomenclature, first we have to determine the parent name by selecting the longest chain, and as mentioned, we have to change A and E into E and E, where I refer to alkene. Now. When the, when the chain contains more than three carbon atom, we have to do the numbering. So the numbering, numbering is needed to indicate the location of the double bond. So the chain in, is numbered starting from the end closest to the double bond. Maksudnya, kalau ada double bond kat situ, we have to start with the terminal, terminal kat sini ke terminal kat sini yang paling dekat dengan double bond. So the one that closest to double bond will be indicated as number one. And number four, we have to indicate the position of the substituent by which the number of carbon atom they are attached to. Alright, so by using this four step, we're going to do the naming of the alkene. So let's go into the example. 
Okay, example number one, we have to write the IUPAC nomenclature for the alkene shown below. So, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, we have six longest carbon chain here. So, we need, so this is named as hexene. Okay, but now because it attached at carbon number two, it become hex two in. And we can start the numbering from the closest end of the double bond. So it's going to be at carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the carbon-carbon double bond is situated at carbon number 2. And the methyl is going to be the substituent at carbon number 5. And the chloro is going to be the substituent at carbon number 4. So, we can say that 5-methyl is attaching to the hex to in parent chain and 4-chloro going to be attaching to the parent chain as well. So, um, here, chloro, and we still have to follow the uh, alphabetical order where C will come first, then only M. Okay, follow alphabet. Okay, so similarly to here, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 longest carbon chain. However, uh, we can do the, naming from, uh, the numbering from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or you can do the numbering from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this case, we will follow the upper one. Because the number one is attached with bromine. So bromine is bromo, right? So it starts with a B. And then carbon number five here will be attaching with a methyl M. So bromo will be at the lowest number of the substituent. And the carbon carbon double bond will be attached at number three. Okay, so we have to follow this one. So it's going to be hex 3 in because of the 6 uh, carbon chain and then the double bond going to be at number 3 and then we add number carbon number 5 we have methyl so it's going to be 5 methyl and then at carbon number 1 it's going to be 1 bromo so it's going to be 1 bromo 5 methyl hex 3 in all right now we're going to do uh, another naming here where we have 1 2 3 4 and 5. Okay, doesn't matter if you want to select here or here because it's still the same carbon chain. Okay, so let's say if I do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So it's going to be pen 2 in. Okay, because 5 carbon, pen 2 in. And then I will have um, the methyl, methyl substituents here, sorry, methyl substituent here attached at carbon number. So I'm going to do it as 4-methyl and then I will have bromine attaching at carbon number 2 and attaching at carbon number 3. So I'm going to do it as 2-3-dipromo. Okay, so numbers and numbers I use comma. Numbers with letters I use dash in order to separate it. So because I got 2-bromine, so, it's going to be di bromo, maksudnya dua. Okay, but it is not the end yet. As what you can see here, it is a trans isomer. Okay, this is a trans isomer because uh, the bromine is at the opposite end, diagonal. So, we have to put trans at the front. So, it's going to be trans 2,3-di bromo, 4-metal, pen 2, in. Alright, now... Um, if we have more than one double bond present, we have to change from in to diene, which refer to di here refer to two double bond, tri in refer to three double bond. So in this case, we have two double bond. So we're gonna we're gonna do the naming as diene. Okay. So we're gonna do the naming from one, two, three, four, five. 6. Okay. 
because the substituent here is chloro. Here is methyl. So we do the numbering from the closest end, which is here, and then the substituent will have the C here will have the lowest number. Okay, we cannot do one, two, three, and four because number three is going to be methyl, which is M. Okay, but we need to ensure that we follow alphabet. So C will come first, so C will take number three. So that is why we follow the upper numbering. Here is wrong. So because I have six carbon chain here, so it's going to be hex number two and number four, diene. Okay, and at carbon number four, it will be attaching with a methyl. So it's going to be four methyl and then three chloro attaching with the two four diene. So the total name is going to be three chloro, four methyl, hex two four diene. All right. Now for the naming of the cycloalkene, we have to do the numbering of carbon atom with a double bond S1 and 2. And then, in order to determine the direction, we have to give the substituent that were accounted first with a small number. So, let us look into the example here. So, we know that um, this is our cycloalkene, and then we know that we need to give the numbering of the double bond as number 1 and number 2. Okay, but we don't know whether it's gonna go this way, or it's going to go that way. Okay, so it's going to be 1, 2 here, or it's going to be 1, 2 here. So in this case, we have to follow the alphabet. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. So if we follow this way, 1, 2, 3, number 3 here is going to be attaching with a bromo, which is, I think, okay. If I use this way, which is going down, 1, 2, 3, Three, number 3 here will be attaching with the methyl. So number 3 methyl, I think this is not okay because we have to follow the alphabetical order. So promo B come first and then we should give in a lower number. Okay, and that is why we follow this way. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, so this one is not correct, not correct and not correct. Alright, so it's going to be at this direction. So at carbon number 3, it's going to be attaching with methyl and carbon number 5, it's going to be attaching with methyl as well. Okay, so the naming is going to be uh, pentene, which is the cyclopentene, because it is in cyclic. And then uh, we have 3 bromo, because bromo comes first. And then we have methyl. So we have 2 methyl here, so it's going to be dimethyl. And then it will be attaching at carbon number 3 and carbon number 5. Alright? Now, they will ask you which of the structures have the high boiling point and why. So we have cis 2 3 dibromobutene and trans 2 3 dibromobutene. So, for example, if this were to come out in exam and they only give you the name, you need to be able to draw the structure here. Okay? So by comparing the uh, by drawing the structure, you will be able to determine which of the following uh, that have a higher boiling point. So in this case, the cis isomer will have the higher boiling point. Why is that? This is because the cis isomer is a polar molecule, and trans is a non-polar molecule. Okay, how to know this? Okay, this is something that you have learned in semester 1, chapter 4, which is regarding the polarity. So, in this case, the dipole moment will not be cancelled out because it will give the resultant forces in the middle. However, for the trans isomer, the dipole moment will be cancelled out and then the mu will be equal to 0. So, this will become a non-polar molecule and here is a polar molecule okay and because this is a polar molecule you can say that it will have a stronger van der Waals forces and hence the cis isomer will have a higher boiling point
All right. For the last question here, we have to write the IUPAC nomenclature for the alkene shown below. So this is the cyclic structure, and then we have two double bond here, which is in and in, and because we have two, it's gonna be diin. So uh, we know that it has one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six carbon. So we know that it's gonna be cyclohexadiene. So the numbering we can leave it out first. And then you know that the um, the substituent gonna be bromo, methyl, and then the substituent here, which consists of CH, CH3, and CH3. And if you look at the list of the substituent, you know that it is refer to the isopropyl. So you know that uh, we according to the alphabetical order, B will come first. Okay, think of through 10, B akan datang dahulu. So for more. And then we have I here, isopropyl, and then we have metal at the end. So now we can do the numbering. So in this case, we can do the numbering from here, number one, and then we become number two. Here will become number three, become number four, five, and six. Okay, because we know that the number one and two gonna be the alkene, and then the number three gonna give the Low, the lowest number of the first substituent, which is according to the alphabetical order. So, promo B gonna take number 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, you know that promo number 3. Uh, the diene gonna be attached at number 1 and 4. So, it's gonna be 1, 4 diene. And then number 3 gonna be promo. Isopropyl gonna be number 6. And then methyl, which is here, gonna be number three. So the total name gonna be three for more, six isopropyl, three methyl cyclohexa, one for diene. Okay. So some of you might be asking, sir, can I do the naming from here? One here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here. Is it okay for me to do that? So the answer is, in this case, it is okay because it is symmetrical. So 1, 2, 3, so the same thing, 3 gonna be 3 bromo and 3 methyl. And then the diene gonna be at number 1 and number 4, which is the same. 5, nothing, and 6 gonna be isopropyl. So it's still the same whatever the direction that you are taking. So it doesn't matter. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!